Stop taking my hand! Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zerith Prevails. I'm going to talk about how to mod Ben Swolo. There's a couple different builds that I want to discuss and we'll get you out of here. Uh, easy enough, I think. I hope. Well, we'll discuss as we go along. Let's go to the game now. Whoa, madness. We're in the game. This game is so crazy. There are sweat stains on that guy. What is going on here? All right, folks, we've got our light side. Ben Solo here, unlocked, finally. He's got sweat stains, he's got some kind of brown smudge right on him there. I do not have him fully geared, I'm sorry to say. Kind of embarrassing, I just unlocked Jabba, which meant he stole all of the, the vile gangster stole all of my gear. And uh, don't worry, I'm fully clothed, folks, but the, otherwise, he did steal all of it, and Ben is just not going to be ready for next week. However, there's a couple different ways you can run Ben. Uh, first off, the more likely thing, if, if you have him unlocked already, you're probably going to run him with a Ray team. And honestly, he doesn't really need that much offense in that case. So his kit is cool. Uh, you know, we've already gone over his kit and everything in different videos. And we'll just have to see how it ends up playing out. But I mean... Ray, he gives Ray a seriously huge boost, but the thing is, Ray is still the one who's doing all the heavy lifting. Like he does some cool stuff, uh, but otherwise, he doesn't he doesn't move the needle offensively. Not that much. Not not in the context of a Ray team. In which case, you really want to take advantage of this unique here, where Ben Solo gains 15% max health and 10 speed for each light side ally, excluding summons. Keep in mind, yeah, so he can ignore taunt, he ignores protection, he's, he's very ignorant, guys. The thing is, 15% max health per, per light side ally. Keep in mind that this is if they all start as light side, and so this doesn't count for, this doesn't count for like a mixed team like we'll talk about in a minute here, uh, like on Star Killer or something. This counts for just the just the thing I was saying uh, <laughs> for light side, uh, which means a resistance team basically, which also means he's going to be gaining 60% max health. And when you take the totality of the rest of his kit in, he is very tough to kill, and it, it, like it just makes him real tanky. And so that that's how that's how my main account is modding him because he's going to go with Ray eventually, uh, once once he gets some gear for himself. And otherwise, I mean, some offense is good. I, I think the mix that we're trying to discuss right now for him is trying to get two health and two offense mods for him primaries so you know we have these two these two that are locked in and obviously like these aren't the final final mods like the, these might be the final mods but they're they're certainly not in their final state uh but but we have the square and the diamond which you know they're they're just set but then uh, we have a health one here and you want it to be health not protection and then these three on the side here could be either health or offense, and so just choose two of them to be offense. And, uh, you know, that's kind of like the mix that we're currently experimenting with. Obviously, we're, this is just, you know, less than a day in, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick, you know, nod toward how to mod these guys, uh, or what we're looking at, the latest tech. But a lot of the people that I've talked to agree. You do want a little bit of offense with him, but you, you want high you want high health secondaries if you can. You can see I, I don't have that that high of a secondary here, but you do want if you have offense as the primary, then you want health and vice versa. If you have health, then you want percent offense, which obviously I don't have that here. So you know this is kind of an inferior one for him, but. Uh, yeah, as you know, sp fast arrows fine. Getting him speed is great, and then if you can fit any potency on him, I don't. I mean, I didn't deliberately put any potency on him personally. Like that, that's the least of his worries. But you can do some cool stuff with with his other abilities. I think potency kind of takes the back burner to your primaries, which are going to be health and offense. Which I mean, frankly, that's that's the way you mod Ray, anyways, isn't it? 
So, uh, yeah. It, on, on a raid team, he wants to survive. And that's that's about it. He wants to live, and so you make him thick. At least that's the theory right now. Maybe that'll change, but... Uh, on a star killer team, however, on a team that's mixed, that doesn't have all light side, so you'll note there's a ton of abilities. This is if all allies are light side, and if all allies were light side, and which one is this? If all allies were light side at the start of the battle, this one, he doesn't actually have anything about light side, which is pretty fancy, except <laughs> win Grand Arenas. If all allies were light side at the start of the battle, he, they really, really care about light side. Like, he, it's not like he hasn't been, like, just dabbling in the dark side or, like, fully swimming around in it this whole time. He's like, no, I need light. I need the light. But here's the thing, folks. If... I think I think the best version is gonna be with Ray. If you have Ray, then go with Ray. Put him with Ray. I I think right now, that scene right now, Ray. <laughs> to now, I think he needs to go with Ray. If if you have her, I don't think he's gonna work with Jedi training Ray lead though because she's gonna run away with turn meter, frankly. And uh, it it could work. It could, it might work. I'm gonna be experimenting with that on my alternate account. So you you could try that. The other option is, because he's a light side unaligned force user, he could go with Starkiller, in which case you want to put as much offense as you can on him, and you want as much crit chance on him as possible as well. So, I mean, this is only gear 12, so keep it, keep that in mind. But So, so this is, uh, one thing to keep in mind, too, is he's special damage, so blow past this physical offense, this doesn't pertain to you at all. When you get to here, special offense. Remember, the big nu special offense always has big numbers for damage and low numbers for crit chance. You still benefit from having some crit chance, but you don't. That's not your like primary goal because he does a lot of true damage anyway. So it doesn't matter really how much how often he crits. He's gonna still he's still gonna be critting sometimes. So you you want some crit chance on him. He's gonna that's gonna boost him. But then you you really just want a lot of special offense, especially in the context of Star Killer because you're not getting any of those cool buffs because no one's light sides. So you're not getting the 15% max health or speed or anything. Uh, you will still you can apply you can apply the Omicron here. He still ignores protection, and under Star Killer, Star Killer is gonna give him a pretty nice boost, and it's gonna give him more survivabil survivability, anyways. And so, I mean that's that's essentially it, folks. I mean, if you want to put him with a Ray team, then make him tanky. If you want to put him with a mixed squad, then put offense set. Now, so so it's not it's not crit damage set because he's not going to be critting a whole lot and the true damage doesn't care about his crit stuff. He just want pure offense. Health where you can get it, potency where you can get it as well. And then under Star Killer, you might want to put a little speed on him. Not a speed set, just some good speed secondaries, and that's about it. That being said, folks, I think we're done here. Thank you so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails.